Hi everybody, Kurt with Two Brothers Hobby and we're here with the battery buzzer from Hi-Tech. We just received this unit. For those of you not familiar with uh, battery buzzers or low voltage indicators, uh, what they do is tell you when your battery is reaching a certain voltage threshold and give you an alert. Uh, now in this case they give you both a visual and an audible alert. There's a little sticker on the front of the uh, sirens. When you get it you can pull that off to expose both of the, uh, the uh, uh, enunciators which will make it a lot louder when the alarm goes off. But uh, the unit has uh, four dip switches in the front, as we can see here, and that's for 3.2, 3.3, 3.4, and 3.5 volts. If you flip the unit over, they have a small index there, and simply all you do is turn on the one that you want. So if you want 3.2 volts, you uh, kick that on and turn all the others off, and vice versa as you go across the list. So edge pin connectors, LED indicator, two uh, enunciators, and uh, edge pin connectors at 2.54 pin pitch. So you're going to take the balancing lead of a, uh, a two, three, or four cell LiPo, and you're going to pay attention to the polarity, uh, note negative. Since it's 2.54 pin pitch, it's going to accept JST, XH, Hyperion PolyQuest uh, battery type connectors. So uh, by far the most common is what you see listed on your balance boards is JST slash XH, uh, and that's seen on most OEM batteries and a number of batteries out in the industry. Uh, by far the most common. So you're going to pay attention to polarity, plug the negative into where the round dot indicates negative on the battery buzzer, and you'll hear a tone that's going to register how many cells. It also gives you a preview of how loud the sirens are and the tone that's emitted, um, and uh, the little LED flash as well and register the four cells. We can grab a 3S, it'll do the same thing, just giving us three tones all the way down to a two cell pack. There we go, three tones. The cool thing is it's going to monitor the voltage on each one of your cells individually. So if you look at an ESC or electronic speed control, its low voltage cutoff uh, calculates the number of cells it read on initialization based on the voltage range and then divides that by those number of cells based on uh, from the factor of the total output voltage from the main leads. So what you could actually have is an extremely out of balance pack. Two or three of these cells, or two of these cells in this three cell pack could actually be running higher voltages than the, the third cell. It could be significantly under voltage. As you come out of the charge scenario, it's going to read acceptable voltages on your mains, but when it actually reads or calculates, you should be at about 3.2 or cutoff uh, for each of the cells. Two of those could be higher, and one could be significantly lower, driving this low cell down below minimum threshold or minimum voltages. So whenever you over discharge a lithium cell, uh, you compromise the capacity as well as the cell chemistry to an extent. So uh, you never want to drive these below minimum valid values. Uh, minimum value on a LiPo is 2.7 volts, no load, meaning you just take your multi-tester and put it on there. It says 2.7 volts. That's the absolute critical low. Three volts under load scenarios. Um, and in most cases, three volts is a safe factory to use. 3.2 for ESC cutoff. So our battery buzzer gives us a little heads up before we start uh, hitting any of those critical factors. That's a battery buzzer from Hi-Tech, a small low voltage indicator, um, lightweight, but comes in about 11 grams, 12 grams, uh, so it won't affect the flight performance of a typical 3S, 4S application at all. Uh, very portable, uh, the pins have a good solid connection to the balancing port, so you can just put it in there and maybe use a little bit of Velcro on the back or use your strap to tie it down. Um, either way, uh, very portable application for either Hallies or fixed wing applications. Um, if you have any more questions about the battery buzzer, you can go to the Hi-Tech website at hitechrcd.com. Check out the product page. If you have remaining questions, you can contact their support group. Good luck with your project. I'm Kurt with Two Brothers Hobbies. Thanks for watching.